Today we're going to be doing another gun review. This one is a 12 gauge single shot shotgun. And this shotgun, it's really old. We looked it up, I think it was like around the 1890s when they started making these. And I don't know, so it's a Springfield. Springfield Arms Company. And it's, that's really all it says. Springfield Arms Company, Chicopee Falls, Mass, Massachusetts, USA. Side nothing. There's a little mark right there. I don't know how well you guys can see that. But then it says barrel and lug forged in one piece. But it's a single shot 12 gauge. And it's not a bad gun. I haven't shot it that much because it's my brother's. But it has a lot of kick. That's why we put the kick reducer on it. We're going to shoot it here soon. But we have to wait for because we're going to shoot it in a hay field and the hay field is almost done cutting. We have to wait about five minutes and then we can shoot for my uncle who's cutting the hay to leave. Alright, so we'll catch back up to you then. Yeah. <laughs> you get that order quick. 20 bucks on this one. He blasted that one. <laughs> Let's go look at it. I bet that I one, it. no, you can't. One didn't. for two right now. You can't make any more. I liked it better the other way. Oh, well, that's done. It's going around the YouTube. He hits them when they're over there. All right, Mike. All right, guys, so here's the gun. We got a little bit of footage. It's, I mean, it has a, I think like it's a 26 inch barrel, maybe 28. It doesn't really say much on here at all, but it has no choke at all. And yeah, it's not the best for shooting trap, but I mean, it's, it works not very good, but I'd rather have something way better and the barrel's not the heaviest so it's not very good at following but i mean for hunting and stuff you could work it it could work i mean there's a lot better guns to use but this would be just fine i will say it is like very well built though because for it to be that old and it still be in pretty good condition i mean it's not like those newer ones it's a lot sleeker and skinnier and it still has this latch. I see most of them have a trigger press like in the front to break the barrel. But this one doesn't. I mean, it's there's not much to say about this gun. It's most people have probably seen it before. And that's about it. It's got the lead down here. Or brass, I mean, because I mean, they didn't have fiber optics back then. So, I think it has a 3 inch chamber. Don't really know. But, this gun has like nothing written on it. It doesn't have the barrel length, the chamber, the serial number, nothing. That just shows how old it is. I mean, it's pretty much like a cowboy gun. It's really what it is. But, yeah, that'll probably be the end for today. And please subscribe, watch our other videos, and that's really what this video is about. I don't know what 